Hi, today is Monday, August 31st, and I am very excited to be sharing this video because today I'm going to take you on a tour of all of the warmers that I am currently enjoying in my home. So I love to decorate for the seasons and I will be getting ready to decorate for fall here very soon. So I thought I would just take a few minutes to share the warmers that I have out now that I like to leave out pretty much year round um, and that I consider pretty seasonless. Uh, so a little bit about our space. This is my husband's and my first home. We moved in about three years ago from a two bedroom apartment. And one of my very favorite parts of moving in and decorating was picking out which warmers I wanted to put in which rooms. So finally, I have at least one Scentsy warmer in every room and I absolutely love them. I think that they are beautiful. They fit in perfectly with my decor and I feel like since he truly does offer um, a variety of styles so um, pretty much anyone I think could find a warmer that would fit in with their decor so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right, so we'll start here in the front room. Um, in the entryway on this little table, I have the classic curve in satin black. And this is one of my all time favorite warmers. I just love that it is simple and elegant, kind of understated with really clean lines. It's also a really good performer. So it's a 25 watt ceramic warmer. Uh, it has a really nice, big, wide, deep dish. Um, so it does throw scents really well. I also wanted to mention that in all of my warmers, I did put some of my favorite scents per room. So in this warmer, I put hashtag shine, which is one of my all time favorite scents. It's just a nice, clean, perfumey citrus smell. So I thought that was really welcoming for the front room. Uh, and I think that this warmer kind of really goes nicely with the very neutral decor style that I have here in this little front sitting room. So just off of the front room, it opens up to kind of the open concept space. So we have our dining table and then a little living room opens up just off of that. And in the living room, I have the Stone Leaf Warmer. And this is another of my all-time favorites. I just think it is so beautiful and elegant. Again, really um, neutral, but so pretty. I always like to put the same scent in this warmer that I put in the front room. So this is also hashtag shine, but this is another 25 watt ceramic warmer. And I think that it performs really well. And I love kind of how it looks with my neutral decor. And then right off of the living room is the kitchen. So I do like to have a few more warmers in here to fill the space. This is the Elegance Warmer, and I love this one. It is a glass warmer, but I like that the outside is etched so that you're not blinded by that really bright light bulb filament. Um, I have it sitting on one of the cord concealing stands, which is really, really helpful when the outlet is above the counter like this. And then here in the kitchen, I am warming Oodles of Orange, which is one of my all-time favorite scents for the kitchen. It's just a really nice, bright, strong, fruity orange, and I love it. And then on the other side of the kitchen, I have the Basket Weave Mini Warmer. And this is actually a really old warmer. I've probably had it for about 10 years, but it is one of my favorites. I love that it is just kind of clean and simple. It is nice and bright, so it really brightens up this little coffee nook, and it is one of my favorites. And then here off the kitchen is our little laundry room. And in here I have the Indigo Tile Mini Warmer. So this is one of my very favorite mini warmers. I love that it glows and it has really pretty shades of kind of indigo and navy, um, looks really nice and clean. And then one of my favorite scents to warm in the laundry room is Bergamot and Solar Driftwood. It's nice and clean and fresh um, without uh, just smelling like laundry. So it's one of my favorites for the laundry room. 
And we do have a small guest bedroom upstairs that until recently actually did not have a warmer in it. I was just using the wall fan diffuser uh, just because the only space that we had where guests could actually put things uh, was this chest of drawers and I didn't want to take up any real estate there. But if you'll recall, I actually recently picked up the wicker warmer from the clearance section and it actually inspired me to create this little corner in our guest room so i love how it turned out i absolutely love this warmer um, it's a glass warmer with an edison bulb and i just think it is so beautiful um, the glow that it gives off is really uh, nice and calming and then i just picked up a few other things to put on the shelves i thought that this little sign was perfect for a guest room. Together is such a beautiful place to be. And then I also found a little wicker lantern that I thought went perfectly with the wicker warmer. So I love that one. And in the guest room, I am warming Luna, uh, which I think is a perfect guest room scent. Uh, it's just nice and soft and calming. Um, I don't think it's offensive and I think it's really pretty in a bedroom. And then here in our hall bathroom, I have one of my very favorite warmers, which is the crinkle warmer. So this is another ceramic warmer that glows and I just love it. Again, I think it's nice and clean and simple, um, but the little ripples kind of give it a modern pretty effect. And one of my all time favorite scents for this bathroom is Life is Swell. Um, it's just a really pretty aquatic scent. So I love that. And then I always like to have a few room sprays in the bathroom. But again, I like to use this one as kind of a nightlight. I think it is so pretty. And then here in this little corner of my office, I have another classic curve warmer, but this one is in gloss gray. Again, I like that it's just kind of understated and neutral and a really good performer. This is usually the one that I turn on when I am in my office. And then I also have the Himalayan salt warmer and this is the white one. I really like this one. I think it is really, really pretty. And then another little warmer that I do have in my office that I don't always turn on is this little goldsmith element warmer. I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute. Um, and then the scent that I am really enjoying in my office is the Alice in Wonderland We're All Mad Here. It's just a really kind of bright, fizzy berry scent and I love it in my office. And then here in my bedroom, I have the Isabella Element Warmer, and I absolutely love this warmer. This is definitely my favorite element warmer. I found that the element warmers with exposed um, heating plates usually do much better than the ones that are kind of molded into the warmer. Um, I get really good throw from this warmer. And I absolutely love the design. Um, the color is just kind of a really light, minty, bluish green that matches perfectly with the decor that I have in my bedroom. Um, and I wish I had a backup of this warmer. So the scent that I have in here is one of my all time favorites for the bedroom called Forever Yours. It is just a sweet kind of musky, perfumey scent and I absolutely love it. And then I always keep a room spray or two um, on the dresser ready to go just to freshen up the bedroom as needed. And then over on the other side of the dresser, this isn't a Scentsy warmer, but it is one of my all time favorites. I've actually never put wax in it. I I usually just use it for the ambiance of the glow and sometimes I'll kind of store my jewelry there but um, it was a gift and I absolutely love that and then over um, next to my bed the camera is doing weird things with this light but I have my diffuser here and I usually just um, use this at nighttime when I'm sleeping and most of the time I actually don't even put um, oil in it. I just use it to add a little bit of moisture to the air, but I absolutely love that. 
And then just off of the bedroom in our ensuite bathroom, I have a mini warmer. This is actually not a Scentsy warmer either. This one came from Walmart and it was one of the first things um, that I purchased when we moved into this house. I really liked it because I thought that it matched the shower curtain really, really well. And I really like the really nice bright glow that it gives off. This warmer does get hotter than Scentsy warmers, so I have to put um, good, strong, long-lasting scents in this one. And right now I am warming Ocean, which is another one of my very favorites for the bathroom. And then now we're down in our family room or man cave, and I actually have two warmers in this room. So I have the pink Himalayan salt warmer, and then I also have the etched core warmer. I absolutely love the glow that this salt warmer puts off. Um, it's not too bright while we're watching TV, but it does light the room up enough so that we don't have to turn other lights on. So I love that one. And then the etched core is a really beautiful warmer. It's also a really good performer uh, because it is that ceramic 25 watt. Um, it gets nice and hot. It's really pretty. I have the loom wrap on top. Um, the wraps are no longer available, but I just love the look that that gives to the warmer. And then I also have this one on a cord concealing base. So love that one. And then down here in the family room, one of my very favorite scents is Southern Evening. It's just kind of a nice um, masculine spicy floral. It's really, really pretty. And then in our downstairs bathroom, I have the Morning Sunrise Mini Warmer, and I love this one. It puts off a really nice glow, so it acts like a really good nightlight. Um, in here, I have Atlantic Air, and I absolutely love that. I love that it kind of matches the little um, floral pictures I have hanging up in the bathroom. And then again, I always like to have a few room sprays on hand. And then in our guest bedroom downstairs, I have the Meat in the Meadow warmer. And this is just a really, really beautiful warmer. It's a really pretty kind of minty blue-green color. Um, and I think it's just gorgeous. It really matches um, our little throw pillow that I have over there pretty well. So I thought it was perfect in this room. And then the scent that I like to have down here uh, is Ivy and Water Lily, which is another just really nice kind of light, pleasant, unassuming floral, and I really, really love it. All right, so this view might be kind of familiar to you. We are down in my Scentsy room, and the warmer that sits behind me is the Fluted Gray Warmer. So this is just a really pretty warmer. You can't really tell on camera but it does have kind of an iridescent finish and it is a really good performer as well. Right now I am warming Black Current Bubbly, which is one of my favorite scents of all time. I usually use my Scentsy Room as kind of a testing room for fragrances, so I decided to enjoy one of my all-time favorites. And then here is a corner of the Scentsy Room that you haven't seen. Um, so this is what I can see when I'm kind of sitting at my table. And this is the Kindness Warmer. And I absolutely love this warmer. It was the warmer of the month back in May and it is so beautiful. And I couldn't forget this little guy. This is the Mini Southern Hospitality Warmer. I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute. I wish that the full size Southern Hospitality Warmer was also a light bulb warmer because it's an element warmer and the performance on that one is just not as good as this one. And I really like the light element as well. So those are all of the warmers that I currently have out in use. I hope that you found this tour interesting and entertaining. I will definitely try to do a specific tour of my Scentsy room soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.